Welcome back to Dad Skills. Today we're going to look at the Photolex RGB video light. Dad Skills, Dad Skills, Dad Skills, Dad Skills. So let's have a look at the unboxing experience. Packaging's quite colourful, lots of information. Get in there and take a look. Lots of bits and pieces in there, well packaged. So first of all, we've got some information about the website, the company. We've then got a little hue chart, and we've also got the instruction book. Eight pages of English in there, so that was cool. Got a little charging cable there with a USB-C on the end of it. We've also got a ball head attachment there. The plastic bits aren't great quality, but the metal bits are fine. A bit lightweight, but the actual light is only lightweight. And then we've got a cold shoe attachment as well, which is, looks quite good quality. So the item sits sort of mid-range uh, in what's available. It was 54 quid off Amazon. Uh, you've got the likes of Aperture at the top and then some cheaper unknown makes at the bottom. Nice and weighty. Alloy construction. It's got 135 LEDs. 45 for warm white, 45 for white and 45 RGB. There's our space for our cold shoe attachment. There's also one on the short side. Loads of info on the back there. It's got a 3.7 volt battery at 14.8 watt hours. It's got two USB ports. There's one that you can charge with. Also one you can charge other items with. So don't do like I did and turn it on looking into it. It is really bright. I couldn't believe how bright this thing was. So, as you can see down the right hand side there, there's three functions. There's mode at the top, and there are three modes. And as you can see at the moment, we're in just a, a white mode. We got 5,600 Kelvins at the top, and 3,200 at the bottom. So we're a bit lacking in both those ranges, really. Next mode is all the hues, and this is why I bought this. And for this purpose, this seems excellent. The colors are brilliant. The saturation is brilliant. And then the final function down the bottom there is dimming. So you can dim in any mode that you're in. Um, at the top there, you can see a little clock. That's an estimation of the battery life you've got left, depending on the function you're doing. And you can see we're in mode HSI there in yellow. Uh, and that's basically hues, so that's RGB. And then you use the function button up and down to run through the hues. And S is saturation, and that's 100%. So I thought I'd give it a go against the white wall. And so there we just saw the third effect, which is a flash effect, which I didn't buy it for that, but it's a useful little effect. There are 21 effects within that flash that you can use. Now trying to capture this with my camera wasn't that easy because the camera kept compensating for when I was changing the color. But there we see, we go from 5,600 Kelvin down to 3.2 and back up again. 100% brightness. So back to the colours. We'll just run through them, cycle through them against the white wall. This is why I bought it, and I think I might buy another one. So I can have a sort of blue one side and a pinky red the other side, maybe just for videos. So this works really well for that. So would I recommend it? If you want those white ranges, then probably not. 
but for the colour, certainly. Let me know what you use in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.